So, here it is, the mystery machine on this nice cold wintry morning. This is a massive Chevy Express cargo van, massive for me. Because actually, this is my first van. So, let's look at it. Now, the tires look pretty good. They're just, you know, used, but they've got some tread, but I'll replace them next year. Um, what else? One good reason why I bought this is because it actually has the divider already set up in there. So basically what I gotta do is remove some of these bolts, install some hinges and a latch so that this can be a door. Let's take a look at the interior, which is actually pretty good. This used to be a Verizon wireless man, so right here, flip this switch. This actually turns on the uh, whatever hazard light thing when the Verizon is working. Great. Now I got a leaf in this thing. It also has a plug in for an inverter part since, uh, you know, Verizon fleet would use those and, you know, they use this as a desk console, put a laptop there, whatever you're doing. Um, let's take a look at the back. This side, of course, has the panels. some of these things, shelving units, which uh, I don't think I'm going to keep. This plastic, isn't that bad? It's relatively clean, relatively. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna t probably take all this stuff out. I don't really need this, of course, I'm gonna need the room for the bed. As you can see, the only thing that's keeping this section of the little divider here together are these screws and nuts. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this apart and put on some hinges so that I can get from the back to the front really easily. I mean, I guess these aren't that bad, but there's not a lot of room. Maybe I could switch it over here on this side. I don't know. I might keep, well, I might keep this. I don't know, I could put like a you know, piece of wood over it for a cabinet, make some doors. I mean, it's not that bad, it's not that dinged up. And it per fits perfectly over the wheel well, so I might keep that. Um, as you can see, we got these doors here. Which, I mean, this is not ideal. I, I, ideally, I would like, you know, the panels on both sides, no doors and stuff, but this gives you access and whatnot, so whatever. So basically, all I have to do is just get started on this thing. This thing runs like a tra champ. It's got 103,000 miles on it. So stay tuned and we will start our van build series. I did see uh, someone else on YouTube, uh, it's called Bug Out Moto, which he has either the 1500 or the 3500. And he basically did this great conversion that I'm pretty much gonna copy. Um, he had a, a speaker box carpet rug, he insulated the uh, interior with the reflectix and foam insulation. Uh, he had a flat panel, solar panels up here, which is something that I'm probably going to do. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to fit as many solar panels because of this light, I'm still gonna keep it. Because it's here, it's plugged in, there's no reason not to. So I'll do that. One thing I do like is the way he ran his solar panel cables was down through here, through this little plug here. Uh, remove that and just fed them in like that So that's something to do. So I have some solar panels on order right now um, Also some roof vents, which I'll have to Figure out where I'm gonna put them probably right here uh, Just because that would be pretty good and I could put a solar panel over it, which is the way that he did it So if the design is good, I think I'll use it 
But as you can see, it already has this wiring here going to the light, um, which is interesting. So, this goes down to, I guess, whatever they're using. And as you can see, these plugs right here. I don't know what they're using on the back antennas, but it does already have this wiring set up here. So now I'll have to look a lot around online to see what they typically run back here. I don't know what that's plugged into. I mean, it's 12 volt, obviously, it's plugged into the battery. This also does have a spare fire under here, which is another reason why I got this particular van, because I wanted a spare tire. Some of them don't come with spare tires. I've got my jack and all the accoutrements to change a tire, which is great. And this jack is for this vehicle. This is another thing that you want to make sure that you do get is the right jack for your vehicle. Nothing worse than having a fun van fall down on the pavement because you're using the wrong jack. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. And, oh, it's another thing. One thing that was good, and it was a little bit more pricey, I'll admit. I can find out where... hood pop up is I mean they actually really refurbished this thing they didn't just you know power clean the interior the plastics all these plastics except for that right there but um, they did put in new plastics and new hoses well some of the new hoses but like I said 103,000 miles most of that you know, city, local driving, which is, eh, but it's still relatively new. And this will be our bug out van.